guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca and I am a stay at home mom of two little kids and I am also an online reseller. And today I'm going to show you how I pack and ship, pick and ship, pick, pack and ship um, my orders. So I have a couple sales that I'm gonna take you along and show you how I do that. Okay, so everything that I have uh, highlighted in orange here on my screen is everything that's sold this weekend. So I have five items going out and we're just going to pull them from their inventory boxes. So first one is in box N. I see I have another one in box N as well. So it's 1233 and 1022, an RBX shirt and a Lily Pulitzer dress. So we're going to go find box N, which is right over here. Ten twenty-two. That's a Lily Pulitzer dress. Twelve thirty-three. That's the or the X shirt. So I'm gonna just pull everything first. Hey Santa. I'm gonna pull everything first, and then I will go to shipping them. So next up is 1678. It does not have a box number because those are candlestick holders, which I have up here on my decorative hard goods shelf. So we'll pull these down. Next is box M with a Lulu's dress, number 1263. Box M is over here. And the last one to pull is box L, 1317 Tea Collection Kids Dress. Back over here, box L is on the very bottom. So 1317. So now I have everything pulled. That only took about four minutes to pull everything and that included recording. So now we're gonna start shipping. This top one is the only one that sold on eBay. Everything else was a Poshmark sale, so packaging will be super simple. I have all my priority mail shipping supplies over there, so we are going to get started. So our first item is just this RBX uh, short sleeve workout shirt. I always put a thank you sticker over my inventory number. And this was something I got for free from a family member. I always put clothing items just in a Tyvek mailer, unless it has something on it that could get damaged. Seal it up. I don't trust my mailers from the Tyvek ones, so I always throw one of these uh, like sticker tape things over it. These are also free. All this stuff is free on USPS except for the thank you stickers. Put that across, make sure it's nice and sealed. And short from putting my um, shipping label on it, that's all this package is gonna look like. And the same thing for the rest of my package is gonna be the same process except for the candlestick holders, which I will get to last. So this package is done. I had nothing into it. It sold for $8 on Poshmark and I made $5 and five cents. It took 210 days. This next one is a Lulu's dress and I paid uh, 25 cents for this at a yard sale. It sold for $20. I made $15.75 and it took 55 days to sell. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one that I did with the last one. And that 
one's done. Next is this Lily Pulitzer dress. This one I paid an average cost of goods of $8.33 for at a yard sale. It sold for $40. I made $23.67 on Poshmark. It took 251 days. Once again, this is gonna get packaged up exactly the same as the other two. Here's another one ready to go. So for this next one, this was actually an eBay sale. I'm gonna skip to this one and come back to the candlesticks just for ease of packaging. Uh, so this one was an eBay sale, so we're gonna move over to eBay. I'm gonna do basically the same thing, except the packaging will just be a little bit different, but I'm still gonna start off with a thank you sticker. Covers that inventory number. I don't do a thank you card. I think thank you sticker is enough. This one is a tea collection dress. It's a kid's dress. And this one I bought for $3. It sold on eBay for a total of $19.85. Fees were $3.59. It did sell through promoted listing. Uh, shipping is estimated at $5.85, but it's going to be cheaper than that because I'll get a little bit of a discount. So initially my net profit is $7.41. Probably will be closer to $8. Um, and it took 67 days to sell. So for this one, I'm going to just use one of these uh, poly mailers that I have. Put that one in there. The adhesive on these is good, so I don't need to add any extra tape or anything. And then I'm just going to weigh it, make sure it is weighed at what I think it is. 4.9 ounces, so it'd be an eight ounce package. So the sale price was actually $14, and then the rest of it was shipping. So they paid $5.85 in shipping, and it's gonna cost me $4.44. So that brings my net profit up to $8.82, so just under $9 profit on that item. It did have a couple little marks on it, so it's not in perfect condition. Most people don't check their dimensions, which you don't really have to on something this small. It's not going to make a difference, but I do it anyway, just on the off chance and just to be in the habit of it. So $4.44, going to print off that shipping label, and that'll be it for that one. That one's done. In case you're wondering, I use these um, like eight and a half by 11 sheets of adhesive labels. There's two on a page. That's how I do my shipping labels on like a business printer. It just takes toner, doesn't take ink. I got it for a dollar at a yard sale one year and it's been working great ever since. I barely ever have to replace the toner and it. I don't need to buy like a thermal printer at this point. I don't feel like I need to spend the money on something like that for my business right now. So the last thing we have to ship out are these wooden candlestick holders. So they are wooden, they're not ceramic, so they shouldn't be super fragile, but I'm still gonna wrap them. These I actually picked up for free off of someone's porch. They had a bunch of stuff listed for free. This was one of the items, so I didn't pay anything for them. I sold them on Poshmark for $20. I made $16 and they only took four days to sell. So that uh, that's definitely good. They're just a nice like hand turned vintage, got like a cork bot or maybe not cork, felt bottom, felt bottom to them. If you hear any tiny voices in the background, my son's room is right next door to my office and he's supposed to be in bed, but he is chatting to himself. So these are definitely gonna have to go in a box, of course. So I'm going to just look and see what box I think will fit the best. All right, so after looking, I determined this regional rate box B is going to probably fit the best. It gives me extra room to uh, wrap them and put some padding around them just so they don't get knocked around. So 
I am going to package these up and then I'll show you what it looks like before I tape the box up. I just threw some bubble wrap on these. It's not super thick, but I have more uh, packing material in the box. So I'm gonna throw a thank you sticker just on the bubble wrap somewhere. Then I'm gonna pack these into my box and make sure they're all nice and snug and protected. So this is what my box looks like before it's taped shut. I just have this uh, recycled like craft paper, brown paper. Ooh. Here's the candle stick holders, bubble wrapped, and there's more paper underneath them. Before I tape it up, I always do a shake test. I don't hear anything shaking around, so that means I put enough um, paper in to void or to fill the voids. You don't want anything shaking around. Like I said, these aren't super breakable, but you still don't want it to happen. So that's how I package these up. I'm just gonna put my shipping label on them on this and then this will be good to go. So these are all the packages I have going out tomorrow. I do need to weigh them so I can schedule a package pickup through USPS. It's free to do that. It's available in some areas, I guess not available in all areas. If I just had maybe two or three of these, I'd shove them in my mailbox. I honestly don't think all four of these would fit in my mailbox, but this box definitely doesn't. So I'm just going to schedule a pickup for all of them. And it's three pounds, 6.5 ounces. So I just had to put in what the total weight is. So they want you to round to the nearest pound, not necessarily round up. Um, so I would be rounding down to three pounds and then I just have to say how many priority mail, which is four and one first class package. They will come to my house and pick them up. And that is everything that sold for this weekend and how I packaged it all up. It's pretty quick and easy, but if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Let me know if you like this style of what sold videos, I'd love to make more of them. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe and come back for more reselling content. Don't forget to hit that like button and follow me over on Instagram at the Cozy Shire if you want to see more mom life and reseller life content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.